Hey, I'm Dylan with Rogue Van Company, and this is our build for SEMA 2023. And right now, John is sitting on top of 28 kilowatt hours of big battery 48 volt goodness. Opting to go 48 volt over 12 volt allows us not only a better packaging size for the same amount of power, these seven kilowatt lithium batteries fit really well into the space available um, and without taking up too much space, which is very important in a van. Um, but also we don't have to run as larger cables from the batteries to the distribution. Uh, this is because we can still get the same amount of power, but with a lower current draw. Opting to go 48 volt over 12 volt gives you the benefit of being able to run much smaller gauge wires to for all your distribution, uh, which not only saves on cost quite substantially, like the cost of wire is uh, considerably expensive in a, a van like this, but also weight, like less copper equals less pounds, of course. We have some 48 volt accessories in here, so they direct connect but a lot of the stuff is still 12 volt and to step it down to 12 volt, we use a DC to DC converter. So we have four Orion 4812 uh, DC to DC converters in this van. Logically, our two largest components in the electrical system are 48 volt items. We have a 48 volt air conditioner from Cruising Comfort, which is an awesome unit and it pumps out 12,000 BTU at 16 amps, which reinforces why it's nice to have a 48 volt system for such big items. We also have a 48 volt, three kilowatt multi-plus, um, which handles the, it's the inverter for the whole van, for the off-grid AC power, while also charging the 48 volt uh, system through shore power. When it comes to charging this battery bank back up, we have one kilowatt of solar on the roof that feeds down to our Victron Smart Solar charge controller. I mentioned earlier that we have a Victron Multi Plus 2 that also charges the batteries when we're plugged into shore power. Um, this van is unique because not only do we have a standard shore power plug, but we also have an EV charging port plug. So if shore power is unavailable to you, but you can find somewhere with uh, EV charging, which in California isn't too hard, um, you can charge your batteries up that way. Uh, we also have a 48 volt alternator, second alternator on the van that um, keeps these bad boys topped up while the van's driving down the road. The chemistry of these batteries is lithium ion phosphate. Each one uh, holds 139 amp hours at 48 volt, which gives you seven kilowatt hours of power. Uh, that is a lot of power, especially when you consider we have four of these that are essentially flat packed under the floor in the back of the van here. All four of these put together gives us a total of 28 kilowatt hours at 556 amp hours, which is a lot of power. If you have any questions about the big battery batteries in this video or any of their other products or any of the Victron products we mentioned in this video, shoot us a message, give us a call, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you out. But for now, cruise along with us to the next uh, installment of our SEMA build series where you get to see this van on its way to SEMA.